piece site already. Jax will be playing Rita. You can see he's falling Ooh. off. Kenny's already caught Ooh. two on the cross. Woo, robotic. He is one of the best pistol users in the game right now. People are not aware of that. His stats are insane with the USB especially. That's going to be the first two kills opening things up there. Kenny S has surely secured the round of this one. The flashbang is very strong. How has Mantu not converted a frag there? Can he make up for it towards Connector? Apparently not. It looks like it's going to be a clean sweep at this point. Alexi be the last player remaining, and OG will... Off, then they come. They still got some info, but here come the nades. And Hunter already connected with one of Famous. One jumps out, and they can't quite deal with him cleanly, but there it is. Neat and tidy. A quad kill from Hunter in the end. Without being picked off. This was a problem for them in the previous, so let's see. Bounce around the corner and find the opening. MBK gets one. He was looking good when we saw them play last. Yeah, he really was. And we'll see if he can keep it up now. He's got to find a couple more players for the B bomb side. There's the second. There's one more player here. That's going to be the FAMAS waiting on the site. Hunter sits in the smoke, but he has been found out as Issa sprays through, gets all three kills and towards that B bomb site. And that's going to be the round completed. Remember, though, this is a bit of a bonus situation for G2. We call this round the bonus round now because it's unlikely you're going to win it against a fully bought T side, but you've got those residual FAMASs, the MP9. Nines, maybe a UMP or two, and at that point, just trying to cause as much financial damage as you possibly can. If you win the round, it's massive. It means going forward, you're gonna have a huge. I mean, it's certainly not out of the realm's possibility. Some armor on him to work with a oh. rifle. When he does stay in towards that window room position, continues towards the murder hole, and that name might be appropriate at this stage. M4 ready and waiting, and it's gonna connect. Alexi goes down. This is an eco room, but they didn't really invest it's anything. Really a partial buy. Vado will pull one back, and it's the same approach we had towards B, and Kenny S will find his second Deagle headshot. He's done it again. Bombs down towards short boys. 30 oh, seconds remaining. They seem to try and just whittle that clock down now. Survival. Integral. Kenny will tuck in, and already the frags are going away of the CTs. Next is caught another. Valder thrown into... Duck and dive and make his way up there. It's a full B commitment coming through. This looks good it for does. OG. Really good. So much control found early. Next is trying to relieve some of the pressure, but Valder's hitting all his shots. Kenny will be tested. And they might be forced to save this one. Losing those players so early. The best buy, as you presented it, has been destabilized by a nimble. Well to survive and delay. Now he strikes. And it's here set to eliminate the threat. We talked about the success of the set pieces and the objectives of the... He actually got the angle wrong, but will he be able to adjust? He certainly will. Nice work. And there are no kits as the headshots keep being delivered here. MBK with a monstrous performance of that AK-47. Just one player remaining is next out. He'll take down his nemesis. And farm up all that extra cash, especially the T side. But Jax, oh! a double kill with the CZ and another one's coming in. Oh, no. Oh. Sources here, including utility. And sir, if you can get this first kill on Jax cleanly, they could be onto something. There's the first, but I didn't anticipate the second. And nuke. Hunter is known for these flanks on Mirage. He does this a lot. And he's going to be looking towards the orb right now. Misses out on the opportunity. He's going for the big play here. Didn't just one one frag. He wants to try uh -oh, and save the round. So he'll go <gasps> for this first pick. And it's a great reaction if a man too. He gets both shots. One towards me. He's met Jackson. Will the head, Kenny. Nice, neat, and tidy. This game is very back and forth so far. The pistols not finding much success this time. Taking down towards Shadow. That will be Nexa as Valda. So we can just predict the outcome of the round by based on the first kill from now on. Let's just do that. Very cool. Ah! Right. CZ. The A ramp room is clear first. And Nexa, he's taking his eyes off the prize for a second. He looked towards spawn. And it's all going to go wrong here, surely. Oh. He gets a couple and keeps them in the round, but maybe not for long. Yeah, NBK, that's a huge secondary frag. He catches Hunter. He was the first response. The rotate's coming in now. Kenny molotov off. T's pushed up close, a double AWP. Now, I'm no expert, but double AWP retakes are no. not ideal and a, a byproduct of the risk reward. Looking away, can he convert this shot though? Spots him, nails it, MBK removed, finally. That place, the issue being their weaponry is not quite up to snuff. Another frag, this time three, as they open up the site. Issa just leap out of Palace and finds himself another pair of frags. He's on 12. Where was Amanek then? We didn't even hear an AWP shot. Oh, he's just dead. He, he's he, just gone. He opened things up. I don't know what happened to him after that. I assumed he maybe pushed a little bit further and got taken down. Uh, you're right, though. They didn't go towards B, so maybe he just got... Gets a team who loves to do heavy set pieces. That's great. Alexi finds his first. Yeah, it's not really that compelling for G2 so far. There's another and kill available, yeah? They're just getting ripped apart. G2 oh. mauled. 
through the smoke. MBK with a the second there. Next up, doesn't know what's happening. And Amanek, he needs to stop buying that orb at this stage. It's not working out for him. He's not nimble enough on these retakes to actually contribute at all, Chad. He's having to either save or be nothing to do with the round. Nobody from G2 feels activated in these rounds. It doesn't feel like they're ready to take a fight. Every single time we see, it doesn't even feel like a heads-up duel. Kenny now getting flanked, having to worry about all the angles. They're going to <laughs> definitely chase him down. Look at him, he's pinned. There's a chance these deagles can connect, but a slim one. Two from Nexa and a third on the cards. Mantu's got low HP. Hunter one bullet will do. He can't hit it. Mantu will keep OG in the round. Now Emanek will connect. They come out behind him. This time, Mantu's still under pressure. One bullet will take him down. He's got a 1v3. It looks impossible. Will be impossible. This is their opponent's pick, but you expect a bit more than this. That's more promising now. It's and making a lot of sound as well. So Alexi might even have a guaranteed frag on Kenny S at this point, just because he got his knife out. And indeed, down he goes. Now, what does that mean for the CTs on B? They know there's presence. A's open. And they're opening. Hector and Jungle. They're in T spawn, thinking they've absolutely nailed it. It's a five on three, Chad. And why are they pushing around the map? I can't really explain that one. What, what information are you hoping to find? You know they've got more than enough money for the last. All the information, you've forgotten about the A bomb site. I think that's inexcusable. We'll see if they can pick up this final round. And this aggressive play towards the A ramp has worked out for them a few times. Remember, not many gun rounds under their belt. What? And it's connector. They're just forgetting about these key choke points. I don't get it. It does look like they'll be able to stabilize thanks to Hunter, but another ginormous gap of void in the G2 defense has been exploited by Alexi B again. It's Alexi B to defend. Yeah, and there's no one on B. Mantu's done well to catch Kenny. That's actually the bomb loose, so effective to slow them down. But the frags, this next frag will determine the outcome. Alexi B and Amanek finally filling the feed with two of his own. But the damage has been inflicted. OG, a promise End of losing them that pick. Yes, they are, aren't they? This is their pick and... Was the A site is will spam down too. Kenny's Deagle continues to find success, but Mantu will make his way over. Deal with him. It's hard to block in hand. I mentioned Shove MBK, and that's the bomb. the bomb. It up with taking a fight because that MP9 one bullet will kill him. Oh, Bounce has caught another. Yeah, they're just, building on it, man. It's looking terrifying for the G2. Just uh, same sort of issues. Remember, in the first half, they, they weren't watching Connect on the CT side. We will recover it. He's not going to fight for that. He just wants to make sure they have to commit towards a bombsite here. Jax should have a guaranteed frag, but still oh. not connecting that. You've got to hit. And his Hunt's about to go down in the back again. Oh, they got the opening kill there towards taking the 16. AK-47 probably do a lot more damage than that. Man two striking from the window. Doesn't even get a chance in the second. The AG arrives in the face of Hunter. They're wow. over committing to these fights at this stage, but still absolutely fine for the round, I would say, as a T will drop down to the mid round. Gonna be dropped as well. Another ding delivered. So at least landing crosses on the heads at this point. Amanek does one better than that as he gets the kill. Three versus one. There's a chance here. If he can isolate these fights, like those, but unfortunately one won't be doing too much for him. Now it gets up there, as uh, we'll see him oh, take him down as the AK-40. Throwing a load of smokes in, and Alexi B coming in for the vault up towards Shaw. Kenny's ready for a great shot. That should be enough to win the round at this point. You can see the CT's locked out. Jack's in towards the kitchen area, does manage to confirm the round, and it's a five on two now. Much better from G2 there. Hitting their shots, staying together. Trade potential is strong, and you can see that. Nice at all. Gambit up towards short, working after them. Default smokes down towards middle, up short with three. And that opening pick is an AWPer in middle. Yeah, they'll throw that Molotov towards the connector position every single Ooh. time. And we have got an opening kill from Issa here. Vardo will chime in and find the bomb. G2 trying to pick up the pace this time. They went for the B split before this time, focusing their efforts towards A. Kenny S, he hits these and find a kill if possible. As soon as that smoke fades, the bomb hasn't been retrieved. And that paranoia, Lexi B, he's gone back down now. Oh, and he's on top of him. Can't check his left. See, getting involved in middle, actually. Throwing a couple of bullets down range, catching Jax. Hunter, however, does find the opening. It's only for a second, because the duels continue. Hunter catching Alexi on the aggression. Balder responds. Steps. And a spray does good damage. He's actually managed to find two. In the round, now backing away with damage inflicted. Valder can swing around. This is getting real scary for Nexa. He wins these though, Alex. He is known as a bit of a clutch master and he makes his way towards Kitchen. Not going for the bomb straight away. OG sticking together and he's confirmed the Kitchen is clear, but oh, that might oh be the worst gosh. bit of intel he could have got because the moment he makes his way out of there, they start cooking up a storm and rotate through. 
walk out on this as Jiggle gets the information. Valda, though, does have uh, the element of surprise, hoping his teammate will draw some attention towards CT. And he will. Mantu would go no aggress. Help turn the attention towards him. And oh my goodness, just the headshot on towards Amanek. He will miss his shots. Amanek, quite the opposite, though, does connect onto NBK. Valda finally reveals the secret sandwich. And he's going to do more than just one. The double. NBK to equalize. He sees the head, but it's not.